what's your favorite automated feature in your house? It is a very small thing, and it's even really not an exciting thing, but here it is. Like, right now, um, as I do this, I live in Portland, Oregon, and it is 10.15, and uh, it's daytime outside. And um, if I, sometimes I leave during the day, I leave, you know, and it's, it's daytime, and I come back, and it's dark. And I don't turn on a light when I leave in the daytime, because it's daytime, and, you know, um... I was always one of those people who was conditioned to turn off the light when you leave the room. So I always try to make sure the lights are off when I go somewhere. And, and so sometimes I leave, and then when I come home, it would be dark. And uh, the door right there, that's a door. You can see the door there. Uh, that door goes out to the garage, and I come into the house through the garage. And I would come home, and it would be dark, and it would be hard to hard to see and I'd have to like figure out how to turn the lights on and things like that and there's a geofencing feature built into the hue lights remember all these are hue lights um, there's a geofencing feature built in that you can have one turn on to a certain amount um, when you come home when it detects your phone on the network and I, t I set that up and I set that up so that uh, one of those light bulbs there's three light bulbs in that light fixture and one of them comes on at sort of a night light level and when I come home, so I pull into the garage and the light comes on because my phone shows up on the network and that light comes on. And so now I never come home to a dark house. Um, that to me personally is like one of the best things about home automation. It's literally the one thing I want to set up for my parents is, um, you know, if they leave in the afternoon and come back in the evening, you know, and that, that time frame changes. Like that can be a really narrow window, like in the winter time, you know, you can be gone for half an hour. It could have been sunshine when you left and pitch dark when you get home. And uh, you didn't even have to be gone that long. And being able to set that up so that like they never have to, A, they never have to come home to a dark house. And B, they never have to um, leave the light on 24 hours a day uh, would be a thing that I would really like to do and and be able to set up for them. And it's it's a very small thing, but it's very easy. Uh, a couple of the other features that I really like, though, are that I have an automated schedule that turns on the landscape lighting in the backyard. And uh, so just before sunset, whenever that is, whether it's, you know, four in the afternoon, eight in the evening, um, the lights will kick on just before sunset. So if I'm sitting outside, if we're, you know, having dinner out there or something, um, you know, the lights kick on. And so I can stay out a little bit, you know, a little bit longer because I have the lights that come on for me. Um, I really like that option. So, um, mostly minor lighting related, I guess. Um, but another one that's super handy is that I have a Ratio automated sprinkler brain because I have underground sprinklers and, so I upgraded that, and now uh, when the sprinklers need maintenance in order to test, it used to be a whole thing where I would stand at the, at the box in the garage, and my husband would stand out at the sprinkler, and we'd be on the phone, and he'd go, okay, turn it on, and I'd have to turn the timer, and then wait, and then he'd go, stop, 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 stop. and then I'd have to turn it off again, and then I'd have to wait, and then he'd be like, okay, now turn it on again, now turn it off again, and now it's eliminated an entire person from that process, because he can just pull out his phone and go, turn on that channel, okay, it looks good, turn off that channel, turn on that channel, okay, that one's bad, turn it off, go fix it, and come back, and he can do the whole thing from right there. He doesn't have to walk all the way around, he doesn't have to call me and have me stand there and like man the switch, and it's really nice to have um, that option. And also, it's a much smarter brain, so if it's scheduled to go off today, but it rained half an inch yesterday, it'll skip today's scheduled watering, which in Portland is a super useful feature. <laughs> so that's another thing that I like about it.